I would like to um, introduce the, uh, um, the value network. Um, <coughs> actually, um, um, nowadays, the, uh, the first uh, value network I will introduce is the Ripple uh, protocol. Um, most of you uh, may already get interested in it, so I will uh, give a, a brief introduction about the Ripple. Um, and right now, um, the one application the repo do is the uh, payment system. Uh, we do a free uh, instant and the global payment system and uh, just trying to make the pay payment more uh, easier for the customer and the merchants. Um, the, the payment before the internet is, uh, is very frustrated. Uh, we can see um, all these uh, different channels to get payments is very uh, difficult for people to uh, finish all this payment. Uh, and uh, for example, in, in the US, uh, we use the ACH to uh, have this payment. Um, is uh, uh, The first one is the currency, is just some currency, and costs um, one to five days. Uh, if you um, paid $25, you may can get this in the, one day, but if you just pay seven dollars, it's maybe like five days or three days. Um, so it is closed; it's not open. Um, I will compare it to the Bitcoin and the repo system, and um, and they they have some fees, um, very expensive fees to to finish this payment. Um, as we know, um, the internet uh, already uh, democrat. Uh, it's the news. Uh, in the past, we um, read the New York Times uh, in US, People Daily in China, and nowadays uh, we didn't use all those uh, newspapers anymore. We uh, use Twitter, Facebook, or the Weibo in, in China, and the WeChat in, in China. So um, we can see. Um, the fast, the free, and the open um, online published tours uh, already um, take place of all these um, newspapers. And we expect that it will happen also in the payment system. Right now, um, the world needs the internet for value. Because um, right now, <coughs> when we think about the internet, we think it's a network of the uh, information. So um, the information like email, uh, can be um, sent, sent free and instant. So uh, why not the value can be sent, sent out uh, free and instant? So um, the information exchange may, may the world become a flat place, but um, we can see, expect that the, the value exchange, um, right now the world is curved, so we can also make this become flat. Um, so uh, the Bitcoin is the first step. So uh, the Bitcoin has a very uh, good breakthrough, and um, so the the time is become uh, you get ten minutes to get one confirmation and get six confirmation. You can confirm this transaction. So um, it's open source and, <coughs> and decentralized, and and um, also a very lower fee. But uh, one. Uh, there is like two problems uh, for the Bitcoin. Uh, the one problem is Bitcoin is more like a currency than a protocol. Uh, we know that the, the Bitcoin also um, based on the blockchain, you can uh, take Bitcoin as a protocol, but uh, Bitcoin is also more than um, a currency. Also, the Bitcoin, um, the sixth transaction uh, confirmation is also uh, very uh, good. Uh, compared to uh, the next protocol I will introduce, uh, the Ripple. Uh, the Ripple is designed for the um, for a payment protocol. So uh, we use the consensus mechanism. So it will be um, three to five seconds, no more than um, less than the six seconds to finish the transaction. And we uh, also allow all the currency, any currency, to flow in this network. Um, this is a uh, difference become the, um, between the Bitcoin and the Ripple. Most of the people, when they uh, get uh, know about the Ripple, they buy XRPs. We we call it Ripples. 
So some people may confuse the, the XRP uh, with the Ripple protocol itself. Actually, um, the XRP is just uh, it's a tour in the Ripple protocol. Um, the XRP only have like two um, uh, advantage <coughs> for the network. The first one is anti-spam. So if the hackers want to attack this protocol, we can use the XRP to protect the, this protocol. And second is the bridging currency. So the any currency can use the XRP um, to become a bridge currency if they want to do the conversion. So um, so that's all. So um, the Ripple uh, is not about XRP. We, we don't ask people to accept XRP to become a Ripple user. Actually, um, we are a 2B company. So when the banks accept the Ripple to be um, infrastructure like Swift do, um, the customer um, even didn't need to know uh, what Ripple is and how can I use Ripple, and he can uh, enjoy the convenience that um, the convenience the Ripple um, brought to him. So, um, so the the value uh, network is just like the information network. So it's just um, move the value uh, free and instant. So. Um, so how how this um, value web built, and um, so I I will give a brief introduction about the uh, Ripple Labs, um, the company I work for. Uh, the Ripple Lab Labs was founded by the uh, Chris Larson and Jed in the uh, 2012 December. So actually, it's near 2013. So right now, uh, we got like 60 employees. Uh, we receive a seed fund. Uh, total is um, 6.5 million, and and we also got some uh, very awesome partners. Um, so um, basic, basically, our um, object is to uh, just to build an easy payment network for the banks, for the financial institutions. So um, I would like to introduce. Um, there is like two opportunities for different um, peoples in this network, because you know the uh, Ripple protocol is more like an ecosystem. Um, it's like Bitcoin, so um, the different um, persons can have like different opportunities in this network. For the enterprise, like banks, merchants, governments, and nonprofits, um, they can become gateway and. Uh, market makers in this um, network, and for the developers, they can build up the um, app companies, or they can also um, provide the gateway integration work, or they can build the gateway themselves in the network. Um, so um, I will give a detailed uh, introduction about the enterprise opportunities. Um, Right now, um, um, we can see the mechanism of the ACH today. So, if you want to tra transfer some money uh, to from the U.S. bank to the uh, Euro bank, um, it's very um, there is two uh, difficulties. The first is um, you you can't just like tra transfer like small amount of money um, from the U.S. to the Euro because the the fee is too high. Um, for the transaction, and then um, is the is the uh, time is very long, so it's uh, one to five days. And um, in this uh, PPT, uh, we give the uh, process process that the ACH um, first you uh, may give the money to the central bank in the U.S., give to the correspondent bank in the U.S., and then send to the correspondent bank in the. Uh, EU and then go to the central bank of the EU and then go to um, the EU bank. Um, so there is lots of the fee and you also must do the foreigner exchange job to make this happen. So uh, right now, uh, you, uh, you somebody can use Bitcoin to 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 finish this transaction, but you still face uh, a risk because the time is from the uh, Seven to forty-five minutes is still a very uh, long time for the foreign exchange uh, market makers to 
finish this process. So uh, right now, if you can use Ripple, it will be like no fees, free and instant um, six seconds uh, transaction to finish all this process. So, um, so right now, um, um, for example, we uh, want to cooperate with the financial institution like banks um, to make them plug into our network and then uh, we can provide them a new uh, SWIFT system. Um, sometimes we call the repo system, um, it's like uh, uh, SWIFT uh, 0.2.0, uh, so it's like a new SWIFT system. It's faster and, uh, uh, and lower cost compared uh, to the SWIFT system. So uh, in this system, uh, the bank will get benefits because uh, we re reduce their cost and reduce the time and um, the the low um, the lower time and is equal to the more payment more payments and also um, the traders can uh, have some arbitrage job in this network so they can also get profits from the arbitrage um, and th this is the um, the opportunity of the uh, the enterprise and for the developer opportunities. Uh, we already um, built up a, um, a fund. The name is called a Crosscoin Fund to to help the developers to build up um, the applications and um, something in this e ecosystem. So, for example, um, the developer can build the uh, apps to through the API to different bank and the financial institutions to help the. Uh, customer and the merchants to uh, use this Ripple network, uh, and then uh, if the uh, developer um, they can build the app to directly connect to the bank, uh, the customer can deposit their money and withdraw their money from the bank. Also, uh, in the Ripple network, the bank got another name is we sometimes call it gateway. So um, if in a region we don't have like the the banks to plug into our network. We will um, try to have some partners if they have the money service license to to become a gateway. Uh, right now, uh, we we only have like one bank plug into the Ripple network. It's called Fido Bank. It's in German, and we trying to get more bank into this network. So um, in the in the in the China on uh, Japan, uh, in this place we. Uh, we used uh, uh, some third-party third payment companies to become the gateway. And in Japan, uh, we uh, just do the manually trans transactions. So it will be more convenient once the banks or other finance institutions uh, plug into our network. So, um, so if the uh, Ripple um, uh, like the um, like the news um, um, democratization, if the Ripple uh, make the the payment decentralized, uh, it will be uh, in the future um, maybe the ACH and the SWIFT uh, will replace by these new channels uh, to make the payment uh, easier. Yeah, uh, that will be all. Thank you. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. You said you could use XRP to protect the network. How? Oh uh, yes. Um, right now, um, if the because the transaction in the Ripple network is uh, is free and instant, so if the hackers um, they have like millions uh, transaction um, per second, it will create the problem for the Ripple network. So right now, uh, we destroy like uh, a little bit XRPs for uh, every transaction. So um, if the hackers he uh, have lost amounts of the uh, transaction per minute, it will consume a huge volume of the XRPs. So um, the, it prevents the hackers from attacking this protocol. So one of the questions I wanted to ask is, uh, in <clears throat> we're doing a payment processing right now for Bitcoin. 
how could we use Ripple in uh, in facilitating faster payments, or maybe to uh, facilitate payments in different uh, places, like for uh, European Union uh, merchants? Uh, yes, uh, the the way if we want to use the Ripple protocol to facilitate this channel, um, first uh, we may have like uh, um, license the gateway in the in that region. For example, right now we already have a uh, uh, licensed uh, gateway, the banks, uh, the federal banks in the Europe. Once he plug into our network in the fourth quarter, uh, it will be convenient for the uh, for the EU people to send money to the U.S. or to China to the Japan. So, um, so, uh, so the, I I may say the build up the gateway is the first step, and then uh, if the uh, merchants and the other people wants to. Um, cooperate with us, they can talk to the different uh, regions gateway. For example, in the EU, you can talk with the um, FIDO Bank. You, uh, all so you, you if can I can also interrupt for a second, are you already connected with any Bitcoin exchanges? So, I mean, can we get yeah. directly out of Bitcoin exchanges into the Fedora Bank? Uh, right now, uh, we connect with the, the Bitstamp right now. So, um, so lots of the people actually use the Bitstamp to buy the BTC um, in different region, uh, the the whole uh, channel is like this. If you are a person in China, you know right now China is uh, banned Bitcoin uh, exchange in China right now. But if somebody want to buy the Bitcoin in China, he can use the Ripple network, convert his CNY into the Bitstamp USD and buy the um, buy the Bitcoin in the Bitstamp. So uh, that's one mode we can cooperate with the Bitcoin exchange. And transactions today, where where are you seeing the most use of the uh, the Ripple network today? Uh, right now, uh, we have like two applications. Uh, for, first is the cross border remittance. So it will be uh, very hot if you want to uh, transfer the money from the China to the U.S. Uh, it will be very high cost and long time. So if we have like different banks in different country, um, both these countries can make their uh, cross-border remittance more easy, uh, easier than, than the past. And then uh, the second is we, uh, we right now we uh, have a, uh, a network trying to um, integrate all the bonus or the points you get from the merchant to be uh, flowing this network. For example, um, if you get the points or the bonus in the Starbucks right now, but you can't sell the Starbucks bonus uh, to another merchant, so um, and also um, you can use the um, the Starbucks points to uh, get exchange with the um, the uh, airline miles uh, to get this exchange. We were just trying to facilitate like um, easier for people to sell their points or exchange for another um, value access. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.